information, what I would do if I was having some sort of hard drive or solid state drive issue is I would hit power and start tapping on F12 to enter my built-in Dell Diagnostics. I would use my mouse and then select the button Diagnostics. Uh, if you have a Windows 10, 8, or 7 generation computer, it will look a little different because this is running Windows 11, uh, but it will still have the software. You just might have to use your arrow keys or the prompts might be a little different. But either way, it will stress test your hardware, including your drive, your solid state or hard drive. So as you can see, in five to 10 minutes, I had the results I needed. So this says all tests passed successfully, which means my, my drive did pass, which means I, if I can't get to Windows, it's probably an issue where I need to take a USB. I'll sh there's a video down below on how to do it. Uh, make a Windows installation um, USB and reinstall Windows. I uh, have a video down below how to do that with Windows 10 and Windows 11. If my test pass, didn't pass, it failed, then you obviously need to replace your drive, your hard drive or solid state drive. If it said that it could not be detected, well then what you need to do is try what we call reseeding the drive. It could just be a loose connection where you try unplugging it and then plugging it back in and rescanning it. If it fails again, then you know that that drive needs to be replaced. Uh, because your hard drive or solid state drive is so bad that your computer can no longer even recognize it as being installed. Kind of a bummer, right? But that's okay. I have a video down below that will show you how to reinstall your drive and, re and uh, install Windows. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.